All right, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about different training styles. All right. Basically, you have TUT, aka time under tension, which is going to be your bodybuilders, right? And just people who want to look like snacks. And then you have your overload training. Okay, that's basic. You know, add weight each week, try and get stronger. That's going to be your power lifters, your strongmen, CrossFit athletes, um, most sports athletes, because strength is important to them versus building a lot of size. Okay, so let's talk about why time under tension is important for bodybuilding versus, you know, well, let me rephrase that. Let's talk about why if you're a bodybuilder you need to do time under tension versus solely overload training. So here's the deal. When you do overload training, you're gonna get a ton of strength gains right off the bat, okay? That's because you're stimulating your nervous system and you know you do get some muscle gains from that. Basically what happens, you put your muscles under stress, they have to grow new cells, okay? And that's what, sorry, the cells get bigger, okay? So your muscle fibers, you don't grow new cells, they get bigger, all right? So that's hypertrophy. All right, so that happens, but you know, you can only keep adapting so long before your body's gonna stop growing bigger muscles, okay? So you can go from benching 135 to benching 405 because your nervous system adapts, but it's not gonna look like you have a chest that benches 405, does that make sense? Okay, <laughs> great for power lifters because they wanna lift as much weight as they can without being too heavy, so they want their ratio to be kinda of high. So like 405, they, they bench 405, they weigh like 160 or 180, whatever. Okay, now, a bodybuilder's goal, ladies, this applies to you too, is basically the opposite, okay? We wanna have as much muscle as possible, all right, and lift the least amount of weight. And the reason that this is, is because, you know, you do your overload training, right? You build your strength, you build your nervous system, you build that muscle base, okay? Then all of your training from there is gonna be time under tension. The reason that this is, is because time under tension expands your glycogen cells and it also causes this thing called hyperplasia. Uh, some of y'all are gonna tell me that's a myth. I don't really care because I've seen it happen. Um, it's also the reason, you know, pro bodybuilders are so big, you know, minus, you know, GH and slim and stuff like that. But um, basically what that is, is your muscle cells split from all of the volume and they go off and they form new cells and then those grow, okay? And then the glycogen amplification or, you know, super compensation basically just makes you look more full and tone and it makes your muscle look much more put together than just strictly heavyweight training. All right, so what is time under tension? We already said that overload is, you know, you basically increase your weight each week, so you're just consistently getting stronger. Well, time under tension is maximum work per time. So that means low rest, okay, guys? High volume, so lots of sets and reps. Uh, you wanna keep your, your tissue under constant stress, so that means, you know, three second negatives, no lifting like this, you wanna lift up and then hold that negative on the way down, all right? So everything's constantly been stimulated, stuff like giant sets, drop sets, negatives, you know, that's gonna force that tissue to adapt and split off in a way that just lifting heavy weight won't really do, okay? So you don't just do only time under tension bodybuilders. You don't just do overload. You do your overload first to build that base you know, with your CNS and then, you, you know, your basic size, you know, and then you add in the time under tension to really develop that muscle and make it look good. All right, time under tension is also better for cutting because it uses a lot more calories. The recovery process takes more calories. Plus you're building muscle at a faster rate. That takes calories too. So for bodybuilding, overloaded time under tension for sports, AKA powerlifters, strongman, yada, yada, yada. Y'all wanna do overload, stay away from the TUT. All right, guys, uh, so I'm about to play a video after this. It's just gonna be 
basically a giant set. That's kind of what you're looking for when you're doing your TUT. All right, so here, you know, you're taking that muscle to absolute failure. Uh, you know, you see I'm really struggling and just trying to get every extra rep out. Then after that, you're gonna go right to the next exercise. I like to superset opposing muscle groups since that really gets the blood flow into your tissue. Basically, you know, you just kind of keep going back and forth so you can't do anymore and that's a bodybuilding workout for you guys high volume and 45 minutes to an hour all right let's get this done